today, we are going to be using Space Engine to visit five different real galaxies that exist in the universe. We're going to take a mini tour of each galaxy, looking at a couple nebulas and planets, and hopefully we can find an Earth-like planet in each galaxy. That's our goal. We're going to start with more regular looking galaxies, and each one will get more and more interesting or cool looking. And our first galaxy today is going to be the Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, here is the Andromeda galaxy from an outside view. You can see some of the smaller galaxies and stuff around here. We're going to go in the Andromeda galaxy now. We're going to fly through. So our goal right now is to just find something that looks cool. That's our first thing. So like maybe a nebula like this thing here. Yes, check this out. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking nebula. Okay, here's a brighter view of that same nebula and we can actually click this and determine if it's real or not. It's procedural, which means this is not a real object, but Space Engine is trying its best to kind of realistically make up stuff around here. Oh, whoa. Okay, here's another nebula. Check this one out. This one's even more colorful, I think, than the last one. Whoa. Okay, so let's see. Let's search for life right outside the nebula. So if we find life, the life will be able to see the nebula in their night sky. Okay, so here is a Earth-like planet that exists around this nebula. And here is a view of it. Check that out. It's got rings and everything, too. And it's moon. Look, it's even got a, a moon that's like Earth. Check that out. That is such a beautiful planet. Okay, and let's see what the nebula looks like from the planet. There it is in the background. So we're going to go to the night side of the planet. And you look up at night and there it is. Whoa. Okay, so let's do realistic lighting. So this is a little more realistic. The light pollution from the rings is going to make it harder to see certain things. But if you could adjust your exposure correctly, you could definitely start to see it. Look at that. That's what you would see in the night sky right there. That's awesome. So that was the Andromeda Galaxy, and this one is very similar to the Milky Way. So it's more like standard, but we can see this one from Earth, which is cool. Next, we're going to move on to the Whirlpool Galaxy. OK, here is the Whirlpool Galaxy, and you can see here's a real picture of it. It looks just like the picture. I'm sure they just use the image as, you know, a thing in here. What is that blue glowing dot? Let's go to that first. Is that just a really bright star? Is this one a black hole? <gasps> Look, it is. That's the accretion disk on it. Check it out. OK, so that super bright dot all the way from out here, that is a black hole. That's really cool. Anyway, so the Whirlpool Galaxy is like uh, a normal looking galaxy, but then it has this sort of extra galaxy coming out here. And I think Space Engine will simulate planets and stuff in this one, too. It doesn't look like there are as many, but let's try to find life in this little extra part. Our night sky will be a view of the entire galaxy. OK, so within 400 light years, there's only one Earth like planet. Oh, look at this, though. This looks cool. Check that out. Look at the cloud formations on that. Wow. OK, so let's just like zoom in on it and see what we can start to see. So there looks like t there's some rivers that are kind of running everywhere. Those river shapes are kind of cool. Um, Pretty tropical. I wonder if that's grass down there. Let's fly down there and see if it's grass or if it's just like stone on the ground. Oh, look, it is. It's like the atmosphere made it harder to see. But look, take a look at this. It's it's like grass and leaves and flowers. So Space Engine won't simulate trees yet. Look, it's got a mixture of like almost desert areas mixed with these grassy areas. And the cloud formations are super cool. So it looks like it's forming more land from these volcanoes. Um, but just take a look at this planet. You can see all the moons going around it and it just like swirling and slowly turning. That is so cool. OK, and then let's see what a night sky would look like on this planet. OK, so we're in a sort of mountainous region. Look at that. OK, in your night sky, you have a huge view of the galaxy because we're technically outside of the main part of the galaxy. But check that out. Just waiting here in the sky for you is this giant galaxy and it just moves through the sky like that. That is so cool. And we could just fly to that. Isn't that so crazy? that you can do this in Space Engine. Just speed up and we're flying through it. So that is the Whirlpool Galaxy. Next, we have a galaxy that looks a little bit different than the rest, and it's called Centaurus A. And here's what that galaxy looks like. So once again, all of the galaxies that I'm showing today are real galaxies that exist in real life. So here's a real picture of Centaurus A. So it looks a little bit different in Space Engine, but you can see what they were kind of going for. And it's like really thick. The rest of them are super, super flat, and Centaurus A is a lot thicker. So I've turned up the nebula brightness, so that's why there's a lot of colorful, bright dots. Let's go. It seems like there's a lot of nebulae in here. Like, check out this one. Look at that. 
that? Look at this one over here. I've never seen anything like this one. Do you think there's planets in here? Let's see if we can just find a planet inside of this like ringed nebula. Yeah, look. So this one doesn't have life, but it definitely is a planet. And we're going to go land in a spot where hopefully we can see a good view of this, this nebula. Check this out. This is a night sky on this planet. So you're here on the planet. This is what your night sky would look like. It is just so filled with different nebulae and you can see the galaxy in the background. Wow, that is incredible. There's so many different ones. Look, check that one out. We got that one. Look, you can just zoom in and see so many. I don't know why this galaxy is so many. Usually they don't have nearly this many, but let's find a planet with life around here. If we just do it in this area, we should be able to see several nebulae just from wherever the planet is. This planet here? Oh, that's a beautiful planet. Whoa, okay, what are these like mountain areas? Check that out. Okay, let's go take a quick look at the surface because I want to see what all this white area is. It's just like rock formations. Yeah, it's just almost like a desert. Okay, so here's a view of the night sky. I don't see too many. Okay, there's a few nebulae right there. And then if you do zoom in, like telescope wise, you could see so many, all these little dots here. It's just looking into the galaxy. So that was Centaurus A. Next, we have this cool looking galaxy, which is M82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy. And it's like a normal looking galaxy, but then it has these really vibrant red funnel things coming out of the galaxy. And that is so cool to see. So let's go and find one that is on the edge. So in our night sky, we'll be able to see these giant red pillars. We got a few different nebulae here. Check that one out. But look at that, just like being in the galaxy. Whoa. Okay, let's search for planets right here. Okay, this one might be the most Earth-like planet we've seen so far. Take a look at this one. Very, very green, which is not, uh, not a lot of the planets in Space Engine are actually green like this one is. We'll take a little zoom in here. If we turn the atmosphere off, we'll be able to kind of see this greenness better. Okay, let's go land on the planet. Let's go like fly next to some of these rivers. Like check out these canyons that it forms. That is cool. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for a sunset. Okay, that is a sunset, and then what can we see? There's a galaxy that we can see, that looks cool. And then there's, okay, let it go a tiny bit more. Dude, check this out. Okay, this is a view of the night sky looking into the galaxy that we're a part of. So on Earth, you can see the Milky Way at night, but this is what you'd be able to see if you lived in this galaxy at night. The giant red, almost nebula looking pillars of red coming out of the galaxy. And then here's a final view of the galaxy. We'll zoom out again so you can get a better view of it. There it is, the Cigar Galaxy, or M82. Okay, our last galaxy today, Space Engine doesn't have a great model of it, but it is called the Condor Galaxy, and here's a real picture of it so you can see what like what the galaxy actually looks like. It looks like they just used an image to kind of overlay it, but you will be able to get into the galaxy and see that there are a ton of stars. Whoa, look at that. Okay, let's find a planet with life that looks very Earth-like. We're gonna head towards the center of the galaxy, and we're gonna search. Here it is. This is a temperate marine super Terra with life. So it is way bigger than Earth is. It is 3.3 times the mass of Earth. So the kind of life that would develop here is nothing like what it would be on Earth. Just take a look at this planet. That is so beautiful. Okay, let's take a quick look at the surface on this planet. This area is greener. That's kind of weird. Looks like there's a volcano here. And then this looks almost like sandy areas. Yeah, it's like cracked sand. Whoa, okay, check these canyons out that are over here. This might be the coolest planet we've seen today in terms of landscape variety. Okay, there's huge desert areas and then huge grassy areas, just like Earth. I think this is the closest one we found to Earth yet. And it's all located inside of this galaxy here, the Condor Galaxy, which is super cool. It has a super cool shape to it. And the real picture of it is like stunning. But that is five different galaxies and some cool planets in each galaxy. Let me know down in the comments where you want me to search for alien life next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.